Hey everybody, it's Jeff from Ballworks Entertainment again, and today we're going to go over basic cube movement and manipulation using vertices, edge, and face select. It's a very simple video and it's a short one, but it's direct and to the point. If you haven't downloaded the newest version of Blender, I suggest you do it. And I posted a video the other day on how to, or you can choose another one. But today I'm using Blender 2.79, as you see on the splash screen. So let's get started. Go ahead and X out of the splash screen just by clicking on it, left click or whatever. And we're going to come to this cube. I'm moving in and out with my wheel of my mouse, in and out. And see, you can go inside the box too, and you can see around inside the box and come back out. Now to explain the axis we're on here, we're on the X, Y, and Z axis, or Z. The blue being Z, the green being Y, and the red being the X axis. To grab a hold of and move it on whatever axis you choose. Say I want to move it on the Z or Z, the blue axis. Just go ahead and hover over the arrow, the blue arrow, and hold down your left mouse button. And move it up or move it down. And it only will move on that axis. You can't move it left or right or all around. It moves only up or down on the Z or Z axis. The same applies with the Y and X axis. The green being Y, it will only move on Y. And of course, finally, uh, X or red axis it will move only on that now if you want to move this cube all the way to the back left corner of this Grid all you have to do is grab a hold of it with your right mouse button And move it to the back let go and drop it with your left mouse button And there you go simple movement and now if you want to recall it back to the center of the grid Very simple all you have to do is hit control Z or control Z and it will take it right back simple as that and that's basic movement. You can play around with it to get used to it. And now if you want to do like this 360 move I'm doing, all you have to do is hold your mouse wheel. Left, right, up, down, all around, however you want to do it. And this is a default setting too, by the way. This defaults set up unless you choose the, your own default setting, which you can do, we'll get into later. But the, it basically comes with a camera right there a lamp it's a light a point light basically it, well it's a lamp it only lights up a specific area and of course the cube we went by this is basically what the default setting for blender is but anyway let's get back to the cube now since we showed you what axis how to move it on the axis and move it around and move your screen around so you can see 360 view back forward whatever of your screen so when you're working with this cube, uh, let's move on how to manipulate this cube. Right now we're in object mode. The object mode, you can't manipulate it. You have to be, when you come down here where it says object mode, right here where my arrow is, click on it. You have to be in edit mode to edit the cube. So let's go on down here and hit edit. And right now we're, the whole cube lighted up, uh, lit up in orange. You could clear that and say, I want to work with this vertice or this point. Just hit A. And now if you want to do it all over again, uh, the whole cube just hit, hit A again. As you can see, it, it highlighted that whole orange cube again. But I only want to work with this vertice or this point. Let's go ahead and clear that. And if you come down here with these three little cubes, it tells you the vertice, edge, and face select. That's what all you're going to want. That's the vertice select. If I right click on that point, it highlighted that little point there and you can manipulate it. To return it back to the normal shape, just go ahead, ahead and hit Control Z again. And like I said, you can manipulate that point. Now, if I want to edge, manipulate the edge like this edge here, you come to this little cube down here and click on it. And come up here and right click on that edge and see it highlighted it. And now you can manipulate that edge. Now I want to return the cube back to original form. Again, Control Z. Very simple. And now we're going to go to face select. The face select is right beside the edge select, right down here. Just go ahead and click on it. And now you see the little points that come in 
the dots that came in the middle that shows you you're in face select mode so I want to manipulate this one just go ahead this face here right click again just like the other ones and you can make a rectangle out of out of your square you know or you can make it wide or however you want to make it you just keep on right clicking it and moving it right clicking but you know very simple to do now we are done say we want to manipulate this however we want to do it and we want to return to when we're done manipulating our cube and we want to return back to where we can't manipulate it again until we want to just come back over here to object mode again click on the edit mode and right there's your object mode click on it now you can't manipulate anything it just highlights the whole block and then you're back to moving again see very simple then hit a again to clear it that clears a lot you just play around with us eh? uh, that's how I learned I learned a lot by watching YouTube videos and um, I'm just going to show you small clips like this so you can learn slowly like that's how I learn and why I got you I'm going to show you what the render mode is what all the excitement is go ahead and right click on this lamp and you can put the light on it however you want I'm just going to do a light uh, quick movement on here to show you what the render is that was zero on your numpad to get the camera up now I want to go into render mode now that's what the rendering is it's just rendering basic light on that cube we manipulated if I want to return out of that it hit on the numpad zero come back down to this little button here and you're going to go back to solid and you just play around with these like if you want to see this cube down here right by the object mode and you want a wireframe to see the object in wireframe mode go ahead and click on wireframe see and it just shows you the cube in wireframe and you keep playing around like I said once you get textures and materials on it and you want to put it in different colors which I'll do other videos on you can later but just learn to play around with this right now learn to manipulate your cube add different objects like over here add if you want to add another uh, say a UV sphere right there's a there's a sphere we will come back and add um, a monkey face where a lot of people use that see you just keep on adding and it will put it right in the center of the grid and um, you can move that out of the way let's add another um, object and we'll add a cone shape right there like I said there's a lot of things you can do manipulate around and I'll show more later on in new vi or other videos but for now that was basically what I wanted to show you basic movement uh, manipulation and for an extra little bit there I just showed you a little about rendering I will be doing a YouTube video another video on rendering later on down the road but that's way beyond what I'm showing you now well, anyway this is Jeff again from Ballworks Entertainment signing off